is Hump Day in a short hump day. week. Day. Hump Day. Hump Day. Hump Day. Somebody used to do that. Somebody used to say that. Who was that? Used to, was it maybe it was Al Roker? Like Hump Day. Yeah. <laughs> it's possible. It is All right, possible. Man. How's it going? It's my third favorite night of the week after, <laughs> after Friday, Friday, after Saturday, after Sunday. Hump day. <laughs> it's Hump Day. I'm good. How are you, bud? All right. All right. We are Tonight's here. the first night we've actually gotten a chance to sit and chat um, in our pre-show in like two weeks. We've been mm -hmm. both just jammed with work and travel and stuff. And so um, I I hope when the wintertime rolls around and courses are coming out in a mad fit that our work schedules are better. Yeah, a little normal, bit better. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, things might ramp. I Every year I feel like the winter gets busier and busier with course building. Uh, are you we're... seeing are you seeing videos increase right now video actually i haven't you? looked in a little bit i haven't looked right. but i i think we usually hit rock bottom in july so i would think that things are going back up again with uh viewership on the uh the tutorials yes i mean i'm curious with over a thousand courses now is there a saturation point where it's like most of the course that people but i guess not everybody's gonna do their own local course and I also feel like there's a lot of really good courses in, in GS Pro that need redone too. Well, that is the next there. Like I do think there's a lot of good courses that need I I, I read Eastlake. about some issues on East Eastlake. I don't know I don't know who did the original East Lake course that's out there. Um, but that hasn't been redone in a while and the PGA championships on it every year. That could use their facelift. I'm redoing Bally Neal, which was an or I don't even think it was a it's not a V three course. I think it was a V one course or v2 uh, or Bally maybe, Neal, wasn't that one of the ones that got converted maybe it was like a convert yeah it was a converted course who that was, came who over. was the original author that was listed on that one i gotta know? look it up i don't know i reached i try reached out seven ways from sunday in discord and everything else and could never connect up with the person so uh i'm redoing it from scratch because it's like one of the original original uh yeah. gs pro courses and yeah. it needs a good facelift it's not like a really good v3 course it's not even that yeah, I mean, I've thought about going back and doing a couple, couple of my original. I want to probably redo my home course. Kapalua. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I wish. Right, I wish. Yeah. I'm yeah. Uh, I'm going to be in Maui over Christmas. Um, and so my daughter and I tonight, we're talking about going up and uh, playing Kapalua over there. And I'm like, well, maybe we, because we did that uh, last year or two years ago, we did that. Yeah. And so I was like, well, we'll have to practice in on, on yeah. Master's course before we yeah. go up. <laughs> For sure. I know I'm practicing. I'm going to do the ocean course probably one or two more times before we head on our trip. That's another one that could probably do a re get a redo too. Yeah. 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 Are we playing the ocean way. course? I, I haven't looked at the, I'm bad. I, I followed up we, on like, I'm all, but are we playing the ocean, the ocean course every course. day or? No, 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 no. We only no, play, no. Okay. we play it Friday, I think. And then we play okay. turtle point one day and yep. um, I forget what the other two are, but no, we don't play it every day. It's a good trip. I'm looking forward to this trip. It should be fun. Yeah, it should be a blast. Yeah. There's yeah, a lot of, I know we're having our, uh, the draft the Sunday before we leave. And then Monday night over football where I'm the captain of one team. And then there's a guy named Chris, who's the captain of the other team. And we're doing our lineups Monday night over football with some of the guys around. So a draft for, for. Okay. So drafting the, so this is going to be 16 guys. It's going to be Ryder yep. cup format for the trip. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yep. Yeah. And then we, we do do it. So like one day's like uh matchups. So we, we have to do, we, as captains, we choose our matchups for those days. Nice. that will be yeah. fun. I don't know. Like it's really just throwing darts at a board for me. Well, I mean, right? You don't know all the people. I mean, you know, a lot of the guys going, but I don't know if you know everybody. No, one I knows probably me. have you know better me. knowledge of everybody going than everybody else does. Honestly. Um, there you go. Well, Jeff's Jeff has two friends, but I know them. So yeah, I pretty much probably have the best knowledge of people. I, you're really the wild card that no one knows. Right. And they no keep on asking me, me. Yeah. They, they keep on asking me, is this guy cool? He's or is he nice? I was like, don't worry, he's going to hang out. He's, he's fine. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it, but I, uh, yeah. um, yeah, I don't know anybody and I think it'll be, I mean, I know you obviously, and I think it'll be a lot of fun and uh, looking forward to it. I think it'd be good. They're all bourbon drinkers. Let's put it that way. There so we there we go. Yeah. There we go. All right. So, uh, before we go any further, right. We yeah. have to talk about, you know, what's behind the bar. I agree. Means us, behind right? the bar music. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, 
Let's see. I can go for. I'm really mixing it up tonight. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, oh! I'm, I'm excited. Doing something excited. that we haven't done on the show, which is, I am drinking Uh-oh. tequila. <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> just that is a, a whole different animal. Yeah, I'm just doing. So one of the guys that I play indoor golf with, he brought this. <laughs> so I had what? Uh, last week, one night. Oh, the women had like a game night over here. So a couple guys came over just to kind of hang out. Were they, the playing, were were they playing, playing Marjan? No, they were playing like <laughs> this dice game called like Farkle or something. And yeah, then, yeah, I know that game. Yeah. And then yeah. they played a couple other board games, but he's he brought over this bottle of tequila and he's like, Hey, keep this in the bar for the indoor golf season. Well we end up cracking it open. <laughs> so here it is. It is Well it's Casa Noble. And, it's um, funny, I, I when I was in St. Louis two weeks tequila. ago, we were at a dinner um and at a restaurant and uh it wasn't a fancy restaurant it was a you know local place we're kind of on the cheap on this work trip and um we were uh, i asked for a bourbon like we, one of our partners was there paying for the whole thing and i was like hey can, can you bring me your you have a list of bourbons and she was like yeah sure so she brought me the list of bourbons and it was like bullet i'm okay with bullet it was um maker's mark <laughs> And it was like there was like one other one. I'm like the usual this, suspects. Right? Yeah, I was like, is this your list? He's like, yeah. I'm like, wow, it's not a great list. She's like, yeah, we're a tequila bar. No, oh. I was like, oh. I said, well, bring your tequila list, and it was like seven pages long of there like these amazing. So I I drank tequila that night, which was the mistake to make because then at three in the morning I was up and not feeling good. <laughs> oh, tequila does not agree with Mashi, huh? No, tequila is not. I will stick with my bourbon whiskey, bourbon kind of uh, film. Yep. <laughs> Yep. So what do you have? Um, what I, are you up to? I am I am drinking a special one tonight. My wife um, went to a farmer's market um, over the weekend up in Boulder, and there was a local distillery called Downslope. So we got to keep our skiing theme. We've had Breckenridge on go. the show. We've had a couple. Yeah. Uh, we've had Black Diamond. So this is called Downslope. It's in Centennial, just outside of Colorado, just outside of Denver. And uh, this is actually a whiskey. They were out of their bourbon. So she picked me up a whiskey and she started talking to another customer who was in the same booth and saying, well, I'm buying this for my husband. They're like, oh, is he a big whiskey drinker? And she was like, well, he's a bourbon drinker and whiskey drinker, but he reviews it on his on his YouTube channel with his buddy. And then that got the distiller like, huh, wait, huh, what? And so Uh... they came over and started talking. And so we're going to tag them in there. Uh, so that maybe they'll come watch the show and stuff. So we, I'm not going to be on my best behavior tonight, but on a better behavior. But uh, so we are drinking this oh. local downslope. It is small, small batch. They do they don't do a whole lot of volume at all. And I will tell you, um, first 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 impressions are very very positive. Like I walked in, if you heard me, because you have your wireless headset, and I was like, oh, this is really good because that was my <laughs> first uh, first tug on that bottle. It's it's I gotta say it's very smooth. It's 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 good. I, I I will give it some credits. I don't know if this is gonna be widely available. If any of you guys, I know a few folks that watch this show will ping me occasionally, say, "Hey, I saw this bourbon you talked about, and we bought it. I liked it or didn't like it, or whatever." But I don't know if you'll be able to see this one broadly available across you know the whole country or world. But hold the bottle up again it, to the to yeah. the camera. Yeah, if you do see a downslope. All right um i would absolutely pick it up this is the whiskey and i'm assuming if the bourbon is half as good as the whiskey is it's going to be pretty damn good nice all right yep so that was my treat for my wife this morning i love that she's looking out for me for bourbons cool and uh so next segment golf story um, uh nothing for you I, I hear you have a story rumor has it so i'll just feel nothing i i played three times over our the two weeks that we were didn't between the last recording. Um, and all I'm doing is trying to take my last shanky lesson to the course. Now I will say I did play pretty well. I mean, I'm shooting low eighties and upper seventies. So I, I I'm hitting the ball pretty well, but it feels really uncomfortable because I'm still trying to do lesson stuff and yes. bring it. So I have a lesson tomorrow, follow up lesson tomorrow. And hopefully he's saying, yeah, you're doing it great. Just keep doing it and you'll feel better with it. But other than that, no, no big golf story for me. Yeah, I've been uh, playing lights out golf recently. Yeah, that's what you were um, saying. And, I, and like, I feel like I'm just waiting for the hammer to drop and and, and be <laughs> woken up from this dream I'm in of playing like really good golf. 
Like I was typically like a mid nineties, occasionally a hundreds, you know, hand, 20 handicap. And over the past two weeks, I've dropped now into the 16s. That's great. And I, I don't know if at the last show, like, did we, did, did we, did we talk about the Hershey Country Club thing that we did? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I yep. that one with my group of 12 guys, yep. right? Yep. And you um, won that. You had the flag that you showed in the last show. Yeah. That you, okay. You that's right. Away. Right. Yep. Right. Right. Yep. So then fast forward, we had this, uh, this other event that we do called the Southern Meadows Invitational, which is at our home course deer valley and but that one we do modified miller light rolls where it's the one where you go and every beer you drink is a stroke off your score oh god I got after drinking 11 beers shot in 81 after uh, you so you get 11 strokes off your 81 for drinking 11 beers yes and, and i get my net off of that too oh so my, god. my net was so a what, 56 so you had to have won oh i destroyed everyone by like 10 strokes Right. I mean, I absolutely destroyed everybody. But that's not fair. You're like six two. You can drink eleven beers. If I try hey, to drink eleven beers, I won't. There's actually around. a couple guys that are bigger than me. So oh, okay. in that group. So <laughs> now another guy drank fourteen. All right. Oh my god, that's a lot of beer. Yeah. So these guys were drinking. That we're playing with. Are they? Are they big drinkers on the course? Oh yeah, we're all pretty big drinkers on the yeah, course. Yeah, now yeah, here's what's cool. frustrating. Now the guy Clint who's going to go on the golf trip, who's my partner in the, in the golf league. Um, yeah. he shot even par, but oh. he's like a four handicap. Right? Well, there you go. And he had eight beers. Par. He had eight beers and shot even par. Oh, um, how do you do? what's crazy about it is I shot a 41 on the front. I shot a 39 on the back after. So now they did eventually catch up to me. Cause I, at one point I shot seven pars in a row and had a birdie in there as well. But the last four holes, I I bogeyed. It was starting to catch up to me a little Good bit. Good thing you finished when you did, because like yeah, yes. four more holes after that, you might have and, gone. And everyone does like the last hole. You chug one more before you your last putt. That's kind of like oh we, god, boom, chug another one. Um, Oy. So, and it doesn't stop. <laughs> So well, warn uh, but, them. I'm not a big drinker. I don't drink that much. I well, we don't drink this there, trip. So. We don't drink on the course at all. Oh, okay. Okay. We, we hang out at night and we drink bourbon at night. That's we cool. don't, yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. do this. This, this modified Miller light stroke thing is one thing we do a year. Got it. Okay. Got it. Got yeah. it. Got it. Um, but then I got the Tuesday night golf league that I'm in and I've been shooting lights out there. We are get we're in the finals the next two weeks playing for the championship. So, like, this thing Look just keeps you. on rolling, dude. Listen, I got to tell you, I mean, we joke a lot about when you and Mike came out here and, and played golf. And, and you know, you weren't playing at your best for sure. But you hit some really good shots. You did hit some really good shots that were long and down the fairway. You just didn't put two or three together in a no. row on a hole. Um, so the, 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 the ability is there and it looks like it's all coming together for you. That's great. I it's just exciting. hope it continues. I, I just, my, is that this stops at some point and then you revert just back. Keep going. Right? Just we'll keep see. swinging it like you're swinging it. Yep. Don't tweak it. Yeah. So that's yep. that my golf story and, um, sticking with it. Congrats, man. That's awesome. Thank that's you. great to hear. It's good Thank to hear. You. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So what does everyone want to hear about? They want to hear about new courses. Courses. Right? We got new right. courses. A lot of them. Yeah. But not a ton, uh, I guess, for two weeks. For two weeks, is it two or three? Like, it's like two and a half weeks, right? Two and a, two and a, well, it's Wednesday, so like two and a half. Yeah, because yeah. the holiday. Yeah, it's but there were there were seventeen releases. Yeah. Um. And yeah, let's just jump into them. So we have. You want to the... move? Oh, I guess you can leave us. Yeah. Yeah, we can see. The only thing we're yeah. missing is the date updated, but everyone knows these are new. So, uh, we have <laughs> the Ham Viper. Who has <laughs> released um, a course out in Montana called the Ranch Club? Um, we got our buddy God, Jake Ham, Dixon. Ham Viper. I can't. Oh, I think of like Ham. Who's the the, the child actor? He used to go by Ham. Uh, his nickname was. I, oh, I've got to research it now. Oh, like that's all I think about was like the the kid from Goonies, like the big guy, the big like. <laughs> oh, a kid that like played Chunk in the Goonies. Yes, yes, like you know, it was kind of like that. His that was kind of like a similar character to this like, uh, movie character Ham. <laughs> and he used to go by you know. Um, that's why I think of when I hear Ham Viper, I keep thinking of like the Chunk from the Goonies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we got JG. Uh, releasing uh, Spruce Grove in, up there in Alberta, Canada, the Blackhawk Golf Club. 
Yep, yep. And yep. we had a couple by Jay Pruitt. Now, one of these yep. was Bucks Island Putting Island Mini Golf. Um, so it's just like a mini golf course, but it's not your traditional mini golf. There's no windmills or, you know, crazy yep. obstacles. It's just like a little putt putt thing on grass. Um, yeah, listen, I, I'm going to I want to give an honorable mention to this one. I didn't empow this one, um, but really only because I almost feel like the course. How do I say it? I think the, I think JG, I think Jay Pruitt did a really nice job on that course, right? For the, put, the putting course it was. I almost feel like GS Pro is not ready for that course yet because, for example, a couple times I putted it and I ended up in the rough. Right. But I didn't right. realize that it didn't change to a putter. So then I ended up hitting it, it gets like a wedge and it got frustrating pretty well. So I think like the course was was done, but the execution inside of GS Pro, which is outside yeah. of Jay Pruitt's, uh, was a little bit tough. So you got to really keep an eye on where what the, the lie of the ball is in case you get it off the fairway. Yeah, when you don't have the traditional like bumpers of a putt putt course, then it causes yep, problems. Exactly. When you go to yep. Thing other yep. than green. But the course was the work he put into it was great. Yeah, it looked really good. And I think that was actually I think I saw a discussion on Discord about that. Someone had, you know, asked if because I think Bucks Run is actually a full course, and then they asked if anyone was doing a mini golf, and I think he just kind of stepped up and did it. I think anyone can. Uh, yeah, that's it. cool. Yeah, love it. Um, then he also did in New Jersey, he had the Hyatt Hills golf complex. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a nine hole course. Um, wild marsh golf club by Nathaniel Daniel, um, which is incidentally my porn name. You, know. <laughs> you used to live on the street named Daniel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, now is, is Nathaniel Mendel Daniel Mendel. Blue? Is that a first course? I meant to look before we Ooh, recorded good point. tonight. He um, might be, and I think he. I'm pulling it up right now to double check. I think he might be a blue for him. So yeah, it could um, be. yeah. I, I I I normally do this before we record, and I forgot, so it's my fault. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, let's see, Sugar Hill Golf Club in Sugar Hill, Georgia, by Pop Sixteen. And then Pop came up with another one, Willis Case Golf Club in Get Denver, off Colorado. my lawn. <laughs> there it is. Right? Like, listen, Pop, there it is. you're not allowed to come into my lawn without calling me first and doing Willie Case on me, all right? So that's, that's not that's not fair, my friend. No, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, then we got a bunch by, Jesus, P. Toad. I don't know what, like how is i want to know his workflow for doing courses because he comes out with five at a time does he like spline five I... courses and then <laughs> and then the blender five courses and then like they all get released at the same time because i hate working like that by the way like i have three courses going in a row right now um one at different fictional, stages though right right one fictional one new one one remake and one all new but like i like I just like work on one for a while and then I go work on another for a while. They're in all different stages of, 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 of progress. Not, I wouldn't even think to like spline out five in a row and then do blender for five. Like, I don't know how that works. I would get work. tired I, of that. Set, Cause like usually like after I'm working on a clubhouse or I'm working on VS pro, whatever, I just get tired of that and I'm done and I want to move on yeah. to the next thing and move on to something else. Yeah. yeah. Um, going back real quick. It is a blue for Nathaniel Daniel. Oh, He's congratulations. Got one and, Yep. Yeah. Congratulations. Now I'm thinking he might be a Minnesota guy because this one he released was in uh, Buffalo, and his beta course he's got out is also in Minnesota as well. So Minnesota. Buffalo, Minnesota, I should say. Wild Marsh is Buffalo, Minnesota, Minnesota. and then his beta just says Minnesota. Minnesota. Oh, uh, never mind. The beta is Wild Marsh. He didn't pull it down. It's the same uh, course. Okay, same course. So he's got one course. Yep. So we'll have to see if he's going to be a one and done then, right? Huh? Maybe. I hope not. Okay, so we're talking about what? We're talking about P-Toad. Clear Lake. P-Toad. So we got Clear yep. Lake Country Club in Bull, Idaho. And then yep. the whole next page is P-Toad courses, right? Yes. Well, now, so we got three Teton of them are nines. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we got, you know, so it's a 27-hole course yep. um, out there in Rexburg, Idaho. Yep. And then we got Wild Horse Resort and Casino Golf Course in uh, Pendleton, Oregon by P-Toad yep. again. And then the next four, we've got Outpost 87. So fictional oh, yeah. course by R. Dyer in yeah. some planet in a galaxy far, far away. 
<laughs> um, uh oh. Uh oh. Do you see what I see there? We got another Denver, Colorado by another new Yeah, I, I, I know. I see these Denver guys. Dude, coming there's out people here. stepping you guys all get over the hell out shit. of my backyard. I do not understand. Oh, there's also smokes. like three more Denver courses are right around here in beta as well. Like, yeah. Bear you Creek guys. is that is that near the uh the re- no Bear Creek is a ski resort near there's no Bear Creek ski resort in Colorado is there no not okay. that I know of there is but one I don't, here I've actually never heard of Bear Creek I don't know where this course is in town here I played most of the courses but I've not played that one okay so that's by Rise so congratulations on turning blue Mr Rise yeah he's he's blue too if I remember correctly yeah and then we have Wild yep. Horse Golf Club by Schling. Uh, is that also a new blue? Uh, looks... I'm looking. Schling. Schling. S- That's, uh, he Austin Powers, is right? blue for him too. Yeah. Ooh, congratulations. Yeah, and that that is not Club. Austin Powers. Oh, I guess it is, but it's actually uh, it's Wayne's World. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Same, same actor, though, right? Yep. Same actor. Yep. <laughs> uh, then we got The Bear. Good show, by the way. Uh, Traverse City, Michigan, USA by TC Garage Golf. This is not his first. He it is not his first. He's got a bunch out. He's got yeah. three out. And then I think we got one more by T Squared Club Walden out there in Ohio. Mm hmm. Okay, so 17 courses this week, yep. which brings us three, to... Three in Denver. Go figure. <laughs> yes, go figure. Uh, which brings us to, guess what that is? We've got the house. Yay. Explosions. More explosions. More explosions. Bigger explosions than that. Come on, Steve. Oh, Steve. What's going on here? There we go. There you go. There we go. Thank you, Steve. Okay, so let's uh, do a little video hide here. Uh, no cameras. And go on to the first one, Sugar Hill uh, by... Pop. Pop. Congratulations Bob. on your album. Mm-hmm. Now, did you know that Sugar Hill is a challenging, short, dramatic, and great course out in uh, Georgia? I do know that now after reading the description. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I felt like this was... I. It's interesting after seeing um, Tech Bud's rendition of Augusta, which is yeah. Georgia Golf Club. I felt like this was kind of very Augusta-like. You know, the rolling hills, the the between the vegetation on there, kind of felt like Augusta to me. I agree. I think I I don't know if it's in the similar part of the state. I'm actually going to look it up real quick while we're talking here uh, and see. Um, it's all Georgia. But I do feel like there were some similarities, not necessarily in the course, because I don't think there's anything no, similar no. to Augusta, but in the rolling hills of the course, kind of the undulations from tea yeah. to green and, and stuff, it felt there were some similarities. Like a lot of pine straw, I felt yep. like. Yeah, the pine trees. Um, so here, it's a good example. So here's number one. Um, and then, of course, he had some beautiful T markers, Sugar Hill. I don't know if that's the, exactly their logo. Yeah, and it's um, not anywhere near Augusta. It's on the other side not, of the state completely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, I don't know if you guys, like Sugar Hill, Sugar Hill. I'm thinking, why Sugar Hill? And I'm like, sounds familiar. Oh, sounds, yeah, sounds, oh, it's it's these guys. It's and these you guys. guys. Know the they song, own their right? own golf course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't play that too long. We'll get in trouble. Uh, you can't go too long. That's right. Just so enough you, you know who it is. Maybe you'll run into the Sugar Hill gang, right? Sugar Hill gang. Yeah. Uh, so next, so so some cool drops, some nice elevations on here. You know, so kind of like Augusta in that respect. And then I really, really like what grasses. I really, what the grasses and the vert painting he did. You don't even yeah. see the blend here at all. Yeah. Yeah, so he did a really good, like, it just looks to me like the unkempt pine straw that you would typically see in a pine forest. Um, I think he also did a really good job. So the, I don't know if it's 2D, I think it's 2D grass he's got here in these little tufts, but the color matches so well to yep. the, the, um, the texture on the rough area that it just, to me, it looks really natural. And he just did a couple also of uh, like, long grasses. Here I too. also like, and there, I know, I don't, I doubt he did anything on these, but the combination with the nature manufacturer trees, those trunks are so detailed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that it, it, it looks, they, it looks like they're supposed to, it doesn't look, the tree is out of place, right? It looks like it's the right tree for the right 
environment. Yeah. Uh, I thought this was hilarious. So it's like a bridge path, that goes to nowhere. Yeah. Or isn't it like a liability? Like someone's just cruising along in their car and they go <laughs> off the into a tree. Path, right into a freaking tree. Right. Well, you know what's funny is like the course that I'm doing right now, one of the courses I'm doing right now, um, I, I, I finished planning it over the over the holiday weekend. And like cart paths just like there's a random in the middle of the left hand side of the fairway, not in the fairway, but in the rough, right? Next to the but in the middle of the fairway, there is a hundred foot stretch of cart path. <laughs> it doesn't connect. It doesn't like there was another part where there's just a U-shaped cart path between two holes. Like this is random cart paths in the middle of the course. So I don't understand the science behind cart paths that just end like this. But I, I know there. just sometimes do they put cart paths in and then do they like redesign the course but not update the cart paths, maybe? I guess. Or do they like, hey, this is a drainage issue problem here, so let's put concrete over it. So the, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All of, this course really had some nice, I think, like placement golf, precision golf, like interesting yeah. holes, in my opinion, that made you kind of like stop, appreciate the course. Yeah. Um, this was like a really, like this one here, like this huge dog leg around this lake was really interesting. Um, you couldn't reach the the green in one, but you, you had to wrap around that. You could go up the fairway in the other hole. Probably in real life, that might be an inner OB or something over there. Um, then some cool par threes going over water, some placement golf here. So just some really, yeah. I think fun cool. So not only was it a good looking course, but I think it was a really fun course to play something. I'm probably going to strongly consider making a note of this one and playing it in the indoor golf league this winter. Um, and then clubhouse. Now this clubhouse isn't going to win any designs like awards, but it wasn't near, like, I actually had to look for this. Like, I usually, when I play these courses, I'm on one, and I'm kind of looking, do I see the, club, yep. the clubhouse? No. Do I see it on nine? No. Ten? No. I looked around. I saw this. Very simple. I think he did it in House Builder, but it was good enough for what he had to do with it. So, Yeah, especially if you're that. not, like, coming up 18 or nine and having a giant clubhouse in front of you. You're just, it's just off to the side, so it works great. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, nice job. So yep, good job on the impal there. Yep. Good job. So moving on, congratulations to T squared. T squared. He's racking up the impals. He's got such yep. a great, we're talking in pre-show. You have such a great eye for color and detail. It just really shines through on your courses. Yeah. Some guys just, I feel like ever since he stepped on, he just has that. Yeah, he just knows kind of that coloring what to do. Some of us have to learn it. Some of us never learn it. Um, I still struggle yeah. with it. Um, definitely looking at my early courses, I struggled yep. with it early on. Same. But I feel like he's just got this naturally just, uh, it, it seems like effortless to him for some reason. Don't know how. I will, I will say, and we, 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 again, we talked about this earlier. Um, and there are a lot of newer designers out now, which is great. We love it. We want it in there. We we you know, we need all the designers in the in the community as possible. But we're also seeing a lot of oversaturation on trees mm -hmm. and a lot of oversaturation on grasses. So look at a T squared course, for example. Look at some of the more senior designers and how they blend the colors. And then look at your. You want to learn to train your eye. Look at a course like this in GS Pro. Then look at your course that and 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 see how the saturation levels are um, of the of the colors. And you'll you'll see it. You'll you'll be able to see it and be like, oh, I need to tone it down just a little bit. And sure enough, you'll bang. You'll be like, wow, that looks right on. Yeah. Don't assume that when you drag a tree or a piece of vegetation in, that the colors don't need adjusted. They almost oh, always every do. color needs adjusted. Every <laughs> single one. It doesn't matter whether it's a. Yeah. Even if you're using all default textures. As soon as you drop a tree in there, that tree does not match those textures at all. If you drop yep. a 2D grass in there, that will not match the default textures that are in there. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of stuff is like in some cases, you even have to change them in Photoshop to get the look you want. Yep. All right. So first tee box on uh, this course, and we've got some custom tee markers. So these are the whites that were the tee box ahead of here. And then we got some cool looking flags with this horse. Now. Mashy. When you look at yes. this, did this like ring any? I only thought of one thing when I saw this, and you, you nailed thought... it when you put your slide together for this one. You <laughs> nailed it. I, I saw this. I saw this not... Yeah, and I thought that looks like it... the Brenda Denver Broncos logo. <laughs> <laughs> They're even facing the same direction. <laughs> yes, I said they should turn the horse the, at least the other direction, so it doesn't, you know. 
And I feel like even the Broncos had like another logo at some point that was even closer to that. Maybe I'm imagining things, but it, and maybe you no. Know, I think the I think one of the older uh, yeah. original kind of cl- the OG uh, was more like on the Walden logo than it, than this one is. Yeah, this one's a little yeah. more aggressive. Um, my question is: is who wins the copyright battle between Walden Golf Club and the Denver Broncos? <laughs> who owns that that logo? <laughs> Not GS Pro. <laughs> Who's got the bigger lawyers, the yeah, Walden right. Golf Club or the Denver Broncos, or the NFL? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, who knows? At this who point, knows? yeah. Who knows? Not GS Pro uh, and not, not GS not Pro. Word. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, oh, so I really thought also another thing he really did well. I believe this is a sat shader and it uh, yeah, amazing. Yeah. And he yeah. did a really good job of adjusting it. For me to look up here and say, not a hundred percent sure that's sat shader. It's got to be because those rings. Maybe that's it's right. maybe <laughs> maybe it's an artificial sat shader like the video tutorials I did. But either way, he did a really good job of playing it in to make it look really good. Yep. Um, yep. some cool holes. I love this hole. So this is hole number two, par three. A little bit of water on the left. A couple strategically placed bunkers. Some rocks. Some houses around. Beautiful looking grasses. Reflections are spot on. Everything looked really great here. Um, yep. Probably my favorite. This is probably one of my favorite holes on the course right here. Yeah, it's really. Good. I love the little rock mountains off to the side too. It's great. And then um, you start playing the they course hard. and you're having a good time. Yeah, 14 through 18. Um, I don't want to say they suck. They're just hard, <laughs> right? You get there and maybe you're feeling good about your round and then you just get the freaking smackdown. Now, this isn't all 14. I think we got 14s on the left, 15s in the middle. I left out 16, 17, and then 18s on the right. You got this stream that runs throughout the entire course. You got some bodies of water in there, some OBs that are placed like really tight in there. And of course, you know, for me, what I do, I see some houses on the left and I immediately start tensing up. Yeah, I can't yeah, hit the ball yeah. straight anymore. Um, but I, as I was playing through this, I got to 14 through 18 and I went, damn, this whole course just got hard. Yep. Um, I hope they play this one in SGT. I think it would be a really I good think SGT sure. This is a good SGT route. Yeah, good SGT course. I agree. Yep. I agree because again, for that time, you got to, you got to hold your game together for the whole 18 holes. You can't let yes. you get to 14 and you take your foot off the gas because you've been having a good round and it's going to bite you. Yep. 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 All right. So then we come to oh, this little gem. This is right. amazing. This is some, I mean, our dire, like <laughs> he never ceases to amaze me and us and, the quality work he puts out, but I, I, every time he puts something out, I think, well, he cannot do himself. And his collaboration, yeah. like his collaboration on Central Park with with Run, like they're fantastic. And then, but then he does this, and I'm like, holy crap! He just like it's great. So like, let's go. Yeah. So this is the R Dyer theme music. I don't know if you remember, we do have theme Ooh, music yeah. for people. Yeah. We have theme. We have walk on music for R Dyer. Yeah. Yeah. So we this is the Dexter theme song music. because everything he does, he slays. Right. I love it. Good answer. Yeah. Uh. I think, like, when I like, started looking at this course, um, I can't imagine the amount of fun he had with this. Uh, yeah. Because when you do a fantasy course, you're not trying to make it look like anything, right? You yeah. just kind of you just kind of go along with it. And most of all, like, you could tell he just, there was no LIDAR involved here. Um, he just puts, like, a plot of flat land. Now, he did put uh, some undulations. I don't think he used, like, real course LIDAR for this. I think he had, like, there's nothing crazy he had to carve here. He just took some 3D assets, put them inside, a lot of 3D assets, inside and outside. I, I don't, let's just take a look at this. It's really cool. Um, so. Um, I will tell you, I will tell you one sec, real quick, so I can comment. Um, cause I did go back and forth with him. He did use some of the meshes from his, uh, university of Michigan course. Oh, he did. Yeah. 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 He used them as a starting point and then modified them. And then he did all the sculpting by hand. Um, yeah. and then he built the dome and the exterior first and then built the course to go inside of it. That's what I would have guessed because we'll we'll get to that in a, in a screenshot here yep. coming on because yep. I don't know how he would have got lidar to match the footprint right. of the building this is in, right? Um, so if you haven't played this, go play it. But the bottom line, quick summary is it's like this semi indoor. No, it is actually not semi. It's, it's all in, indoor. In, in, yep. Indoor. It's like on another planet, um, kind of like Star Wars Tatooine type thing in the outside. 
Um, there's a story behind it. Read it in the description. But he also did a really good job of setting up the practice range here, which all these different games. So you can like, yep. it's a great place to warm up. I spent actually, <laughs> I went down to play it to get more screenshots and I ended up getting stuck in the practice range doing all this stuff. The practice screen is so good just to play these games. Yeah, between this, I'm not going to go through all these. There's all different kinds of warm-ups. There's a driving range. There's a a, a spider battle, but really fun. Um, And then flying around, there's tons of stuff to look at. I mean, F5, fly around, so much detail. This is one thing I found, which I thought was really funny and entertaining, you know, before the invention of self-driving hover carts, which he has all over the course, people used to have to drive around on things called concrete <laughs> and people had to steer the vehicles. I was like, that's, cr- that's really funny. Well, and, and the, yeah, but the T's are floating and hovering and he puts yes. triggers on there. So when you like everything is projected, like the yardage and everything is projected, but you've got triggers so that when you're get close to the ball, um the, to that spot that projection goes away also i don't know we didn't grab a screenshot of it but i don't know if you noticed or not there are sprinklers that are spraying yes. water but they're triggered so when your ball goes near them they stop spraying water oh no way i didn't notice that yeah yeah and then if you look outside there are there's a there's dust storms that come by so if you look outside you'll see the wind blowing dust against the windows and stuff out there it's pretty freaking cool it is really cool um, now I'm, I saw this and it said, did you know, and it said six slash six. So I'm thinking this was, did you know, question six of six, I flew around for like 15 minutes looking for the other five. Apparently I, I found don't... one for you. So don't worry. Let's go to the next oh, slide. Okay. I, so did. Maybe I just didn't look hard enough. Cause I'm thinking, you know, where did, uh, where did the other five go? So this was hole number one. Um, now, what's really interesting here is like, Mashy, you and I, we go into courses and sometimes we're like, oh, they're just using all the fault stuff. Here, the defaults work because he, I think he really wants the look of this being like overly perfect. Like it's yeah. a completely manufactured course. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think it's, I, I love the look of it. It's like, it's too perfect, but it's a, but that's it's what it's supposed they to be. Built. It's supposed to be like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, before you move on off the slide, finish what you're saying on the slide. But before you move on, I'm going to take okay. over for one sec. Okay. Um, so T markers here. Okay. These 87 for outpost 87. Um, the cool thing, the whole markers are like, instead of your traditional signs, wood they're signs, projected. Everyone does, they're projected out of this little hologram thing here. Hover carts, which are like all over the place as well. Um, one thing I didn't do is I didn't do a lot of, there's like spaceships flying over. There's lots of animations going on. So cool stuff. Now the T, the T also is elevated. The T is a floating, all the T's are floating and elevated. Now, really quickly, if you, Mm -hmm. one thing, if you notice, notice the dashboard on that cart. you see all the the detail on that dashboard, go forward one slide real quick. Okay. So there's all kinds of info on there. And then there is a did you know, but let's go. Oh, there are more fun one. facts. There we go. Let's go okay. one more did you know. One more slide forward. There you go. The phrase pulling a masta is commonly used when someone has a bad oh, hole. No. The origins of that <laughs> saying see this. back into the early 21st century when a golfer by the name of Masta Blaster recorded a 17 on a par four. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i didn't see this oh, and that's i do fantastic. believe if i remember correctly your broken club is still sitting in the in the lake on run putt runs course yes yes <laughs> you're exactly right totally <laughs> so master or probably breaking a club is yeah i've heard of that too <laughs> for that i'm gonna pour another another whiskey and yes to toast you my friend here you go yeah. i'm doing a, a whiskey do, toast well, i guess so. i'm gonna post it that they toast this one to our dyer for the the... So I don't know if that is. Did you know one of six? But I, but that yeah, is, I would, right? Yeah, yeah. And you hadn't seen those slides. I snuck those no, in. No, 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 no. I had no <laughs> idea, and it didn't even occur to me to zoom into that heads-up display on the golf cart <laughs> at all. There's probably other ones that we had still haven't found. I have yeah, to play. I'm gonna I, have I'm to play sure the course right. again and just kind of fly around a little bit more. Yeah. Now um, there you go. Yep. Yeah, so this is outside kind of looking in at the at the structure and you get to see like the vastness of this thing. It's just really impressive, like this, the blender work that he, he did. Here. I wish I had his blender skills. Just like, oh, I'll just make myself a futuristic 
um, building right. and texture it properly. And like, I wish I had that skill set. Yeah. And then I don't know. I'm assuming he bought like a lot of these like spacey outsets out there. I just assume he made them. I mean, he probably, I don't know. I assume I he just know. made them real quick. He's I so imagine good a lot stuff. of this stuff exists like in CG probably. Trader or stuff that probably for dirt, like because games people like are always using like, you know, spaceship yep. stuff for games and things. But yeah, that's so that was really cool. And then floating stairs that go over the water in a bunch of different places. I mean, these are just a few of the things you can find in here. Um, Here's the restaurant, the restaurant, Outpost 87. There's a yep, restaurant at the There's a bar. There's like a clubhouse along one side. There's might be now, some facts up in there. Who knows? I did put a couple of screenshots in real quick. And at this next one, um, which was when I played through this, I moused through this. I did get a hole in one on the bar, the, the bar three. Mouse? Yeah, with mouse. Nice. Yeah, not in real life. It was with mouse, but I did get a hole in one, and I captured it and I sent it over. So, um, that was uh, that was kind of fun. That's cool. to, I've never, I even mousing, I've never gotten a hole in one in GS Pro. So it was just kind yeah. of fun to get that. I also, uh, like, by the like, way, I will, I, I will say, I should have, I should have mentioned this in Golf Story. Um, this was the same week that I got a hole in one in real life. <laughs> What do you mean the same week, like a year ago or what? No, like, when, when I got this hole in one. Yes, when I got this hole in one in GS Pro, one of the rounds I played, and I completely forgot to mention it, one of the rounds I played in, number two at Common Ground, 137 yard par three, rolled it in. Just this um, past week? Two weeks ago, yeah. Or last, last week, whenever this was, oh, whenever this released last week. Was, yeah. That, that wasn't your first, was it? It was my first and only. Oh, congratulations, man. Yeah, thank you. I can't yeah, believe you left that out of the golf story. I completely my God. forgot to mention that. And I can't believe story. you didn't tell me when it happened. I I didn't. I texted my buddies and and I didn't think that I don't know you were traveling. I didn't want to bother you. So yes, I did. <laughs> it was a short little par three, but it was fun. So we have a, I don't know if you know, we have a hole in one fund with the group of guys. Oh, nice. And it's up to like $700 right now. Yeah, that's pretty good. So like twice a year, we'd all throw in like, so beginning of the spring, we throw in 20 bucks. And then with for winter golf, we throw in 20 bucks. And the first person to get it wins. Nice. I like that. Yeah. Um, um, and then, yeah, here you go. Yeah, so this is cool. It's like, so this is like the structure from way up. I kind of want to see how the course was laid out. Um, first of all, I kind of laugh. It's like, oh, it's a big asterisk. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but basically, it's just like a three-sided structure with like that big rock structure in the middle. Um, and you can see in this one end, here's the driving range down here, and you just put like three holes. So it's basically yeah. you go out. There's probably a par three sometimes on the end, and then you come back, and you go out and come three, and you come back. It's just kind of you you work your way around this whole thing. I looked at it initially. I'm like how the hell did he get 18 holes in there? And I was like, well, I did the math in my head and I'm like, he does three per spoke. Six it's, times three. <laughs> it's 18. Yeah. That's how you do it. Yeah, it's good. It's so good. Yeah. He did a great so, job. on it. Congratulations. Our, our, our... Yeah. And you have um, raised the bar once again. I think this for... is the only fully enclosed course in, tire, in all of GS Pro. You're right. Uh, but other than like, does it count putt like putt warehouse putt warehouse putt warehouse yeah other than putt warehouse or whatever but he yeah, did that yeah, one yeah. too like, so right but like in a full-blown 18 hole course like not a, not a putt putt course this yeah. is the only fully enclosed one in the on all of gs pro i believe yeah um yep I, this will be a, a favorite i think for a long time definitely the, like good for like the kids and yeah for yep. sure yep all right oh, yeah so moving on to hyatt hills golf complex um by Jay Pruitt. So Jay Pruitt's getting another Impal this week. Good job. Yeah. Not an incredibly long course. Now this is a this is a nine hole course, right? That they just repeats twice. I believe it's a nine hole course. He did. I always I always find it hard to tell, even when I play the second nine. It's like, am I playing the second nine or the? <laughs> but yeah, I think it's a nine hole course that they flipped the, that they flipped around. Yeah, the easiest thing is to see here. Look, let's look at the yardages here. So, uh, 315, unless he put different tees 324, down. 324, he would have to put different tees four, on. 4, 5, I mean, the pars match up. 5, 4, 4, 4, it's got to be, yeah. It's got to be, yeah, the pars tees. match up exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yep. So, jumping in here. Um, I thought, I love the colors. I thought the, the overall look and feel was great. I don't think those are custom tees, and that's okay. I think those... 
I can't remember if those are custom teas or if those are just some of the other added GS Pro teas that you know, the yeah. default pack teas that were just. But I, it doesn't matter. They look good. They work good. They're lined up perfectly. He does have custom flags on here to match. But this was a really nice. I thought if you looked in the valley to the right, you can see there's some burnt painting happening where the dry it out area. Uh, on the saddle shader as well. And I just thought overall the look and feel of the course was 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 really well done. Um, hues were great. There's your custom flag to match. Um, now, what I did do, which I thought was kind of cool, I went out on the driving range. You can see the sh shader. And I, I actually do like, I like all the different textures in, this, in the sh shaders. I, I like that personally. But I went out to the driving range and looked back, and I thought this was great because some of the driving ranges are in covered and some are on the pads, which I hadn't seen a lot of that before. But I thought it looked really good. You can see the kind of small little local clubhouse behind it. And then off to the right, there's one other thing you can see, which is a putt-putt course. Yeah. So I grabbed a screenshot of it. I don't know if it's the next one or not, but it's in here. There it is. Because, like, that should be next on your list, man. Like, if you're going to do the whole complex, do the whole complex. And right. He put trees in there, and he put some rocks in there, too. So maybe he's planning on doing it. But um, there's a whole putt-putt course right there that you, you could do and have the whole complex done, which is kind of cool. Cool. Yep. Um, I did, Again, just another screenshot. Um, this was really to show off the sat shader. I thought the sat yeah, shader on this was really good. Really good. And I like the blends. If you look sat shader up to the up to the green, like if you go from, if you look at the right from the deep rough and you go all the way up to the green up there, it's seamless. There's no lines. Yes. There's no. It's the, you, you can't even see a blend. It just all blends together naturally, and that's kind of what we look for. We look for that in, on these on, on the high quality courses. And then as you layer back to the back, the trees have that right color. I love the dark underneath the the leaves of the trees where you you can tell how thick it is, right? Because it's like dark in there and you, you don't hit your ball in there. You'll never find it. Yeah. So I just thought it was an overall great view of the, the the work he did on it. Getting that blend, that balance of sat shader, the color of the sat shader. And is if you've ever designed a course, you have a appreciation when you see it done really well. Yeah. And it, it's 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 the time spent on the sat shader that then carries across all the meshes to where it looks yep. seamless it's 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 good and you know you don't you don't have to go back later and advert painting you can you don't have to advert painting i thought the grasses looked good i think they um you know there's a lot of these tall tufted grasses a lot of times we see the the tops of these these tall grasses really bright yeah and this one we don't we see it toned down it matches nicely it looks worse i mean that's a perfect this, example i bet that that is not the default color of that grass they um exactly the weedy, i was gonna say yeah yep it's going back to our earlier conversation i guarantee you on that grass that 2d grass when he dropped it in it was super bright and he had to tone it down to make it match so um another example of the detail of of looking at every single asset and making sure that that color of that asset matches and then I like the pop of color on the trees. I do. Yes. There's a couple of these throughout, and I think a pop. Now, I did go to the website, and I did not find on this number. This is number three, and I found a screenshot of number three. I didn't see this tree on number three. So either they cut it out of the screenshot or I didn't see it, but I liked it. I loved having – there's a couple of, of holes that had these – just one tree that was nicely colored. I liked it a lot. I thought it was, it was, it was a really – I just really enjoyed it, so – yeah, there's nothing wrong. Like, and that's the whole like in nature, flowers are designed to stand out like that, so that well, yep. insects can find them. So, yep, that makes sense. Yep. And then this to me was just a really great shot of the rock work around the lake with the. He's got a really nice mix of rock, but with weeds coming through the rock. And then the color of the water with the reflection on it. And then you can see the hazard stake with the green off on the side of the water. It was just, it's, I thought it was a, if for lack of a better word, a perfect hole. Like, yeah, you know, it, it's also impressive. Like, I, I feel like he went out and then broke some rules here in a good way, which is a lot of time you see, like, when we first, I first started designing courses, everyone was putting like blue water, right? Blue yeah, water, yeah. blue water. And then it became like, um, uh, green, Muddy, murky, yeah, swampy yep. water. And now we're starting to see, at least now I see here, is like gray, like yep. gray water. And they all work, right? Um, 
but sometimes like me as a designer, I wouldn't have seen this color at all. Yep. I would have, I would Agreed. have stuck to like the traditional, like green algae water that matches the grass a little bit, but here he, he went gray and it works really well. And look at how good his reflection probe is. The trunks right? line up with the trees. And I didn't go to anywhere special to line this up. I just happened to, I'm on the T and I looked 45 degrees to the right. You know what I mean? And those trunks line up perfectly. So he knew to put the reflection probe where you're on the T to give you that look. So it, it's really well done. Yeah. Good job there. Um, a couple of funny things I did see. A couple of cart path blends that we, if you if you do go yeah. back and do an update, you know, it's a pain in the butt. I get it. I'm doing it for my course around Blender. But, you know, I do the same thing. But, yeah, those couple of blends in cart paths. This was actually – I only saw this one because this is right next to a T mark. I It might have been the same hole. It was right next to the T. Um, so that was visible. So I just thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> We've all been and there, then, right? This one I thought was really funny, and I like this a lot um, because it doesn't matter. You don't see this from the course. I'm nitpicking here, and I think this because it's fun, and we could play a little, we could poke a lot of fun at it. Great little small clubhouse, right? It's right next to the putt putt course, and they got a little couple of it looks uh, like a fast food joint. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's like a little fast food joint. Like I can see this like little small region, you know, little local nine hole clubhouse. It's nothing yeah, yeah. fancy, right? But if you notice the little little crow's nest, little poke, a uh, little uh, uh, what do you call that? Where the the the, the gable the gabled ceiling or like that. Yeah. If you actually kind of go down and look up a little bit underneath that, the next screenshot, you can see a couple of just things sticking, floating. Yeah. So you can't see this unless you go underneath and look at it, right? Okay. Which is perfectly fine. It's perfectly <laughs> good. When you're on the green and you're, you're looking at this, you can't see this. It's like a lot of what we designers do in here. It's like, do not look behind the curtain. Right? Don't look behind the curtain <laughs> because you're going to see some of this. But you know, it doesn't matter because you don't see this from the course. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have to literally fly. But I thought it was kind of funny to see like one of them is just floating and one of them is just like, sticking out there the was a there was the... like a show a while ago it was about like uh i think one of them was like about disney world it, it was explaining like kind of all the stuff they do to like sh behind the scenes in disney world what's like inside of like uh the castle at disney world mm. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah yeah they're like, yeah, like don't shit open the door. inside there <laughs> yeah don't go up there because you're gonna be really disappointed well, I remember one of our one of our shows, I mean, early on, and and uh, you were like, man, this clubhouse looks great. What did you do? And I was like, actually, I took two clubhouses and just rotated yes. them and put them next to each other. <laughs> right. I did that on a course, too. Yeah, you just smash two of them together, and you get a completely different look. Yeah. Well, matter. I did that on one of your – with I took your your clubhouse from Hershey. Remember, I did it on Austin Country yes. Club because you can't see it, and I turned it backwards. Mm -hmm. so the back was shining through, and I buried most of it into the into the terrain. And you didn't even realize it was your clubhouse because you couldn't tell because the front right. of it was completely hidden. Yeah. yeah so totally. that's the fun things we do as designers and we get away with it. So. All right. Well, congratulations Good job. Congrats. to all of our uh, MPAL winners this week. So. Yep. Yep. Well, Great job. Okay. So getting into um, everyone's favorite so segment. The post I of did the week. forget. I did forget one thing that we don't have a slide on, but let's talk about really quickly, which is feature okay. requests. Oh, okay. We, you have a feature okay. request. I do. I do have a feature request. It may not be. Maybe it's a stupid feature request, but I'm going to throw it out there. And this is not a GS Pro feature request. This is an SGT feature request. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Which is, I was inspired by Outpost 87. Maybe we need a fantasy tour where each week it's a different fantasy course. Jeez, would we run out of course? There's not that many fantasy courses, though. They're not that many I mean, between whispering. I don't we have a maybe it's not a weekly, maybe it's a I don't know, but like it would be kind of interesting to have a tour where you just play fantasy courses. Yeah, I don't think it are, I don't think Cook's a fan of the fantasy courses. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, anyway, I thought I'd throw it out there. Yeah, no, I, I like the idea. Um, like, I think Oppo's 80s. I mean, there's some, I mean, Glacier Golf is a great, great fantasy course. It's actually been played on SGT before, but um, it's a great course whispering pines like there's a whole there's i don't know if there's enough for one course every week but it may be fun to do a or just a, a short tournament like a fantasy golf tournament. like a fantasy some, tournament or a fantasy outpost yeah. glacier golf whispering pines um the central park courses or yes. two central park courses yeah 
Uh, could definitely have like a 10. series or something. Yeah. 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 It might be yeah, fun. Probably, there's got, yeah. There's at least, I would th- say 10. Yeah. Anyway, okay. just thought. All right. So. All right. Posts. Posts of the week. I'm trying to remember the first one I had up here. So I'll go first. Um, we have, we have, do we have post of the week music? I, we do. Let's see here. Um, there we go. There we go. Okay. We're out of practice. <laughs> we are out of practice. Yeah. Um, so is this, is there a way that I want to say this in like my snobby voice, is there a way to set the distance on the driving range when first loading up? I mean, it starts at 400 plus yards, which is like my stock eight wood, you know, but I'd like to have it start on 350 so I can warm up first. Like, really? (laughs) Is it really too hard to slide the slider? Well, not only that, but like, is this like your way of like, of, of uh, a flex? <laughs> like, I, I warm up at 350 yards, and then when I'm really hitting, I'm hitting at 400. <laughs> with my eight wood. Yes, with my eight wood. Yeah. With my eight wood, I hit it for 400 yards with my stock eight wood. Yeah. Yes. All right. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Go away. Yeah. That's not how you get a uh, feature request. That is not but how you anyway. get a feature request in there by doing it snobbily. I'm hoping yeah. there was some sarcasm in this post. And I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to read Whatever. sarcasm. In. Yes. It is. Yes. Yep. You, need, you need a little yep. work on that little wink wink. Um, yeah. Put a smiley face in there. By the way, this next one was posted in GS Pro. Josh, do you need some Taylor Swift tickets? Oh, sign me up. I'm a Swifty. <laughs> So I am like, all right, so we've now GS Pro, and this is GS Pro users, the big one. Like, yeah, all right, now we're selling Taylor Swift tickets. Did you, okay. did you sell them? I don't know. Who knows? Did you buy I'm them? Like, Take I your daughter? Not, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Um, yeah, so, and then the last one here is, um, hey, Mashy, how are you setting this up? What? How are you setting this up? I, what's he want to set up? How are you setting it up, though? I don't know. What <laughs> I don't know what he's asking. I know. I, apparently, it's a Mevo Plus. Um, and it is, I can see from I can see from the camera angle that maybe he's trying to get the alignment on the Mevo Plus set up, but get, but honestly, the guy was a real dick. So someone said setting up what and he's like if you don't know the answer then just don't comment and the guy was like dude i'm just trying to figure out what you're Fun, doing here. Sold. you're on your own dude <laughs> yeah the guy was a complete jackass about the whole thing i said come on dude if you want people to help you give them a little bit of detail wow. here wow. right on on what you wow. need so wow. yeah yeah you know, right. i go, got a couple there's another segment a while ago we started was help me help you Remember, remember yeah. that. Let me let me help me help you by not being a complete ass in your post. Right, right. <laughs> I got a couple, uh, and then the last one is a special one just for you, my buddy. Oh, geez, here we go. All right, <laughs> here we go. All right, so next, oh, that's not on that one, and okay. Is there anywhere I can find online matches? No, but I got a lighter for you. <laughs> <laughs> just anywhere Any, there... anywhere i can find out anywhere <laughs> Online. i actually can't stand the post to start with has anybody ever seen this i mean there are seven thousand people in here i'm sure somebody has seen it let's not start with the word anybody <laughs> um and then somebody was like uh how about discord huh so oh. You know, I guess this just goes to the point that maybe we've been saying for a while that maybe Discord, or maybe uh, a GS Pro has grown needs. to the point that needs a lobbying system or some sort of matchmaking so, system. Yeah. I don't know, but um, and this kind of I think sh- goes with my next post. I think they kind of go Honestly, together. Honestly, maybe this could be the feature request. GS Pro, maybe like add to your subscription another ten bucks if you want to be able to find online match play. I, and give him a link to Discord, which is free. <laughs> <laughs> no, like just say people, hey, GS Pro is 250 bucks a year. For 300 bucks a year, you'll get access to a meetup lobby where you can play other users online. Now, now, yeah. now, not, not that's like, you could still be able to like, if you and I 
as friends. Yeah, one-on-one -on -one matching. One -on -one, yeah, not, don't pay not extra. SGT, but if yeah. you want like a a place where you yep. can go and say, hey, I want to play, then, you know, they charge people extra for it. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, that, I do think it's grown to the point. It's got a user base now. There's enough people out there that having to download Discord and do it. For most of us, we think it's silly. You should be able to download, install, I'll be, you know, you're good to go. But I think there's maybe enough people out there now that don't want to deal. I don't know. So it's, it's, I see I more and more of these. It's mainstream enough that, you know. Maybe. Yeah. I see more and more of these kind of posts of people that are having trouble finding how to play online with people or having trouble just using Discord or something like that. So we need like a Tinder for uh, golfing. <laughs> Swipe left, swipe right yes, if you want to yes. play. Swipe left if you want something else. <laughs> Hi, I'm a two handicap and I live in Wisconsin. <laughs> Looking for online play. <laughs> Looking for online play. Anybody know where I can find an online match? <laughs> All right. All right, next one. Uh, uh oh, that's blank. Uh, here we go. And it goes to they, they go of, together. Speaking of, Jesus. can we agree that Discord sucks? No, if you we don't can't agree, agree. You, I don't understand. If you don't agree, you must be over fifty. So if you don't it's think the opposite it sucks, of that, you're, it's the opposite. If you're like Discord older, is totally like a young user. It like, is. It's a they use it platform. for online gaming. I use it for all my my online gaming. I play with several different other groups, and so I don't think it's the over 50 people that love it. Oh, I would think it's... oh, I know who. I can look at the profile picture. It's just Joe Schmome, that freaking... I think it is Joe Schmome. Actually, go that up That guy's one. an idiot. That guy's he, an idiot. Did he post the same one as the online match one? Go up one. No. No, no. it looks similar. Okay, no. it's not. Okay. This guy it is, is the... a troll. This yeah. guy's a I, I don't know. I just thought it was funny, and the comments were yeah. funny in, inside he, there. So, just like shit like this, just to get people rattled. Yeah. All right, next one. Uh, let's see here. Golf Digest, Lab Putter. Okay. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> This is from Golf Digest. The Ohio Golf Course offers underwear, wipes, and shorts for any golfer who poops themselves while they're playing. Play. <laughs> I saw this and well, I couldn't get enough of it. We are. This getting is the older. actual Golf Digest article. It's a. We are. A, we are getting older, Mashy. We are getting older. We are. <laughs> Apparently, they have to keep extra stuff in the in the at the pro shop. Uh, do you know my, how many courses do this? I do not. Do you? Well, yes, I do. It depends. It depends. But I'm pumped. Steve, we need our little cue music. Yeah, there we go. Not quite, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, my goodness. If I need to go change my shorts because my round is that bad, I give up golf altogether. I don't think it's a round is that bad, but maybe it's just people, they just, don't want to take a break or they're out there and i don't they, know you know we again we're, mash we're getting older maybe someday 10 years from now we might look at this and say man where was that golf course that gives you free stuff free i will say i have pants. more prescriptions now than i had 10 years ago so we're yeah. getting older <laughs> yes 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 all right and the last one i have is just for you Oh, I thought that last one was for me. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> no, I have one more that's right up your alley. All right, here we go. But what if I'm good? Do not attempt to hit. Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. They have a sign on the course that literally says, do not attempt to hit over the condos. You wouldn't attempt to hit over the condos. You would just hit over the condos. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> so what is, I, there was a, there, and this debate comes up all the time. Um. What do you feel like if you hit somebody's house, are you responsible? Yeah. Like legally responsible? I mean, if I hit their house and I don't hear any crashing of glass, and I'm not running over there and going, I'm sorry, I hit your no, house. No, no, I agree with that. But let's say you hear glass. Are you legally? Now, morally, I would say, yes, you're responsible. I, you you, you I damage someone's my moral... property. You go over there, you knock on the door. If they don't answer, you leave your information. Say, I'm sorry, here's my information. I'll pay for your window. Do you think you're legally responsible? I see this debate all the time. I no, don't know. They, if they, you're... they decide to live on a golf course. It's their, their homeowners should cover it, you know, blah, blah, blah. 
I don't know if I don't. I honestly don't know. I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know if you're legally responsible or not. I always found if you follow your moral compass, then the legal compass generally doesn't need to get used. So if you go right. over there and you do that right thing, they're gonna be like, "Hey, my homeowner's covers is all good. Thanks for coming over." If you're that dick that's like, "You shouldn't live on a golf course," and I'm the one who broke my window, you, you know, I'm the one whose my window was broken, then I'm like, "Yeah, you're gonna freaking pay for it, kid." I'm not using my homeowner's insurance, so yeah. um, I tend to, I tend to. Knock on wood, I can count the number of times that happened on one hand if I had two fingers. Um, I don't hit a lot of houses, let alone break a lot of windows. So I don't I don't think, you know, um, I have broken. I'm going to admit this in a, in a minute of vulnerability. I have broken a golf cart where I got I had a really, really, really bad round and let my emotions get control and I punched the um you know the little on the, on the steering wheel the center part where you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. do the scorecard i punched it and the whole thing shattered oh. um into like the whole little thing you write your god the, the wheel didn't shatter but the center right. part were shattered the clipboard and I, the clipboard piece completely shattered and so my buddies were like oh just 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 like tape your scorecard to it and turn in the cart. And I went in and I told him I did it. And I said, I broke your cart and I'm sorry like that. And the, the cart guy was like, yeah, it's all good. And I said, here, here's 50 bucks. He's like, cool. Call it a day. And it was all good. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but I don't, I told him I did it, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I think if you, if you break, if you break it, you own it, you should go fix it. And if they yeah. say you don't need to, then you're cool. Yeah. I, the, the, my friend who is now the general manager of the Hershey country club, um, yeah. They said that What's people he are legally responsible. That I think they are. I think if you hit, you... and he has had a couple instances where people have damaged cars that are like yeah. parked near the golf course in houses, yeah. and they have chased. The police have come and come up with two members Ooh. to make them. Ooh, yeah, yeah, and make them own up and, to what they did. And, and here's the thing: is this is a nice country club, so all the carts have GPS, so all they have to know is about what time. They happened, they know exactly and they knew who exactly was... who was on that hole and yeah. they approach all the people and they say look so you guys are all going to pay for it <laughs> in the group yeah. or one of you is going to pay for it or you're getting your membership suspended yeah so now i've seen that before i've seen uh, i've seen folks on a private course that i was a guest on and they were members and just hit really bad errant shots and um got out of control a little bit like drinking yeah. a little too much got out of control and at the turn the um the marshal came up and said hey you guys need to bring him back in line or they're going to suspend your memberships yeah so i i can see that yeah i hear a lot of it's kind of interesting i hear a lot of stories from this guy who's the general manager he said my job is babysitting 45 year old men yeah i bet people act like <laughs> complete idiots on the golf course so oh, not, most not of the, only time, the golf yeah. course but he said the the way they treat cart girls the oh, employees the, the the people who are providing services, he said, it's ridiculous. Hmm. So it's it's we it's like it's like the Vegas, like you like you, you go to Vegas oh, yeah. and you got a golf course on a golf course. You just like for some folks, it's like they're in Vegas for the week. Yes, like no. you were last week, a little out of control yes. <laughs> Actually, yeah. at your sales conference. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, I think we're at the end. Yeah. So I think that brings us in. All right, so this wraps up another um, I have, one. I have no travel on the books until our trip at the end of the month. So I think we should be able to get some recordings in. We should be able to get um, one in, and then we'll have to talk about what, how we're going to handle the show on our trip. Yeah, I'd love to figure out if we could do some recording while we're there. I don't know how to, like, I have this vision in my head, like, we're setting up a table outside of, like, by the putting green, and all of your buddies are kind of like, interrupting us while we're trying to run a show out there or something it won't happen that way but and, and maybe we don't even have to do we can just do kind of more of like an informal 15 20 minute show just about how the weekend's going or yeah funny stories yeah. and i don't know we got all the play but we'll talk about it i'm sure yep exactly yeah. so we'll figure it out but and also just you know there were a bunch of courses that um not bunch some courses launched today we had already had our stuff done oh there today, were so. I missed, missed those. yeah right. uh, i noticed this evening right before we recorded i i saw pac-man post that one of his courses just launched like literally minutes before we were getting ready to record so pac-man um, course haven't seen one of those in a while i know and so we'll make sure we get that one in the next episode okay all right 
All right. Take it easy, everybody. See you guys later. Good night. Bye. Thanks, everybody.